natin magandang araw sa ating lahat. Again, this is Engineer Jom Digia. Welcome back to my channel. So, sa video na ito, ituturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-solve ng isang random passport exam problem in heat and mass transfer. So, under ng topic na conduction. Okay, so simulan na natin. Calculate the heat transfer per hour through a solid brick wall, 6 meters long, 2.9 meters high, and 225 millimeters thick. When the outer surface is at 5 degrees Celsius and the inner surface is 17 degrees Celsius. So, the coefficient of thermal conductivity of the brick is being 0.6 watts per meter Kelvin. So, sa ating figure na given dito, makikita nyo yung ating solid brick wall na meron daw height na 2.9 meters. Meron siyang length na 6 meters at may thickness siya na 225 millimeters. So, ating temperature on the inside ng ating brick wall is 17 degrees Celsius while on the outer side it is 5 degrees Celsius. So, since the required is the heat transfer, per hour. So, since solid brick yan, nagamit tayo ng conduction natin na formula. So, the formula for heat transfer through conduction is K A delta T over delta X. Okay? So, gagamitin natin yan, formula na yan. Again, yung K natin dyan is yung thermal conductivity. Yung A is the area, yung cross-section ng area natin. And yung ating uh, delta T, yung change in temperature. So, yung ating delta X is the change in thickness. Okay, so solve natin yan. So, for our solution, ang gagamitin natin formula guys is yung formula ng heat transfer through conduction. Q is equals to Ka delta T over delta X. Again, K is for the coefficient of thermal conductivity. Ginigay naman yan guys. Andito yan. Tapos yung ating A is yung area. So, yung, yan yung cross-sectional area natin. So, yung length na minultiply sa height. So, the delta T is the change in temperature. And the remaining is the delta X, which is the change in thickness. Okay, so, nito naman yung mag natin. Substitute lang naman natin yan, guys. Tapos kasi ang iniingin sa atin is heat transfer per unit hour. So, substitute lang natin yan, guys. So, Q is equals to 0.6. Watts per meters Kelvin multiplied by the cross-sectional area, which is length times height. So, 6 meters multiplied by 2.9 meters. So, delta T, change in temperature. So, mainit versus malamig. So, 17 minus 5 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then divided by the Change in thickness. Change in thickness is 225 millimeters. So, 225 millimeters. Convert natin yan, guys. Yung millimeters, gawin natin meters. So, 1,000 mm in 1 meter. So, cancel out. Ito. Tapos, yung change in degree Celsius, equal lang siya sa change in Kelvin natin. Okay? So, change in Kelvin yung nandito sa baba ng ating coefficient of thermal conductivity. And, ba-obtain natin yun, guys, is makakansel mo na natin yung uh, dalawang meters na nandiyan. And, cancel out yan. As well as yung meters natin dito. Kasi makikin meters squared to, meters squared din yung nasa baba. So, makita na mong unit is watts. So, as we calculate this, we try to solve this one. So, reset nyo muna yung calcul nyo guys bago kayo mag-solve palagi. So, 0.6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 2.9 and then multiplied by 70 minus 5 which is 12 divided by 225 multiplied by 1 over 1,000. So, ang nalang sasagot natin dyan is 556.8 unit is watts. Ano ba yung watts guys? What is joules per second? Ang hiningi sa atin is per hour. So, ang gawin natin dyan, guys, yung per second pa yan, gawin natin per hour. So, yung meron tayong 3,600 seconds sa kada isang oras. So, para mas pa-complement doon sa ating unit na per hour, dapat gawin natin kilojoules yung ating joule. So, there are 1,000 joules in 1 kilojoule. So, Cancel out joules, cancel out seconds. Matira is kilojoules per hour. So, multiply lang naman natin yan, yung 556.8 sa 3,600. 
tsaka sa 1 over 1,000. Mautay natin na sagot dyan is 2,004.40. Unit is kilojoules per hour. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung problem na yan. Mas ang iningis natin is naka per hour, dapat alam mo yung tamang unit analysis na gagawin para sa problem na yan. Substitute mo lang naman yung mga values, hindi ka mali nito. Okay? That is our sample passport exam problem in heat and mass transfer.